Well, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Welcome to Ballet in Exeter, and for our first class uh, on our using our YouTube and Facebook platform for um, the term. So today's class is a, a beginner's class. We're going to start it very gently. Uh, and there's three things that I want to make sure that, that you remember. Firstly, in this very cold weather, either do a warm-up routine beforehand, or if you haven't had time to do that, then wear either some jogging pants or something like this, or some leggings. Really important to keep your muscles warm. It's so easy to get an injury if you don't. Secondly, ballet is all about two things. Firstly, it's about your turnout. If you've never done ballet before, turnout is from the hips. And here's a little tip as to how to find your turnout. Just the other thing is you need something to hold on to back of a chair, bookcase, uh, tabletop, kitchen, work surface, something that should be, if possible, high enough so that you don't tend to, to lean down because it's a little bit too low. But to find your turnout, rock back, put your heels, feet parallel. I'm just going to turn the music off for a minute. Um, Put your heels together, now stand with your feet parallel. Rock back so that you're on your heels. Now, using your upper thigh muscles, the back thigh thigh muscles will then hold the position in place. Turn out. And now stand. That is your turn out position. It may be as much as this. If you're very flexible, it may be a bit more, or it may be a bit less. But that is your turnout position. And in nearly all the steps that we do, this is called with the heels together like this, is called first position. And that is where we will be. So your upper muscles at the front here, they will get you into position. It is then your muscles at the back that will hold that position. And don't feel frightened to just adjust as you do steps. If you feel your feet turning in a bit, you think, well, just turn them out. And don't worry about what you see on the screen about dancers with a 180 degree turnout. Some do, a great many don't. Just go as far as you can with that position because it is turnout from the hips. It is not turnout from the knees or the, or the ankles. The other thing is centre core. Really important in dancing that you don't lean forward, you don't lean backwards, you don't lean sideways, but you work from the centre. You pull all the muscles in the upper body up. If you hold onto your chair or work surface, again, put your feet parallel. Stand absolutely square. And then ever so slowly, don't take your heels off the ground, but at the moment just lean forward so that your weight is on the balls of your feet. Normally the weight is, tends to be on either both the heels and the balls of the feet or more on the heels. But you want your weight, pull your tummy in, but you want your weight to be on the balls of the feet. Then take the heels off the ground, take your toes up, stretch the knees up, absolutely straight, let go of the bar. That is your centre core position. That is the position you want to achieve for all the steps. Classes start in two, classes always start with the same. We start doing bar exercises, we'll start with plies, we will do 20 minutes or so of those, then we'll do a little bit of work in the centre. I've tried to create these classes so that if you have a really small space in which to work, you can still do the steps. And don't forget at the end of class, at about quarter past eight, I shall be on a Zoom link. I've posted the details on both Facebook and our WhatsApp group called Ballet in Exeter. 
do join if you have any questions to ask about um, what steps we do, how classes work, anything that you found difficult or anything that you would like to know more about. We'll do about a 15 minute catch up session at the end of each class and I look forward to seeing you. So, um, as I said, make sure you warm up. It doesn't matter what you do, if you've done yoga or Pilates, any warm up or just sort of uh, get the muscles moving, turn the heel, down the legs just a little bit. Sometimes people like to do a nice stretch at the bar to stretch their muscles out, whatever you feel comfortable doing. So, let's start with some plies. I'm going to take the warm up pants off so that you can see my knees. Uh, most of the words in ballet are in a sort of French. So plié simply means to bend. Uh, there are two types of pliés, a demi-plié, half a plié and a full plié. Today we're going to just do three positions of the feet. First position, so your turn out. You're going to do second position. To get to second position we do a step called a degage. Degage means disengage, you're disengaging. That is second position. And then a degage into third position. And at the end of the plies we'll do another degage back to first and your arms will end down here. This is called braba. Whilst the body has to be very stiff and straight, arms tend to be quite soft and beautiful in ballet. So that is first position with the arms, elbows slightly up, thumb tucked in, just a nice rounded arm. So you've perhaps got a nice big cushion there. That is second position and you'll learn other positions as we go through. So what we're going to do Arm goes to second, first position, a demi-plié, and a rise, and a demi-plié, and a rise. Now we're going to do a full plié. Your heels are going to come off the ground and it's going to be one, two, three, four. So when you get down to the bottom, don't sit there, you go down and you start coming up again. And then from that going to do a pour de bras. So this arm, keeping the knees straight, is going to go down. If you can touch the floor or get as low as you can, up into what is a fist position. Don't let the shoulders come up, keep the shoulders straight and, and flat, pull the tummy in out to second and we'll do the demi and the rise and the demi and the rise and then another full plie but in second position the heels stay on the ground so one two three four what we don't want is one two so not like that the tail your tail your bottom has to stay really tucked in and straight so don't worry about how low you can go at the moment but keep it nice and straight one two three four and then we do another stretch but this time this arm you look towards the whatever you're holding on to and stretch as far as you can across a really nice side stretch then then into third Repeat that, demi, rise, demi, rise, and the full plie this time. The heels come off the ground and then a degage back to first. So let's try that with some music. First position, arm to second, demi. And rise. Demi. And rise. Full. Two and three. Four. One. Two. 
three, two, crochet. Not too wide, just as wide as is comfortable. You'll be wider than me if you're six foot six, and you'll be less wide if you're only four foot six. Two. back to first, bring both arms so you're just holding a cushion very gently, that is called bra bar, and finish. And shake your legs out. And for fairly obvious reasons we do the exercise on the other side, so I shall now do the exercise with my back to you. See how we try and keep straight. Okay, shake your legs out, and there you are everyone, you're doing ballet. So, we'll now move on to a step called a batmol tendu. There's a lot of steps in ballet called batmol, batmol means to beat, tendu means to stretch. And what we're talking about is stretching out the leg muscles, and in particular stretching out the toes. So, so we're going to start in third, um, are we going to start in third or are we going to start in first? We're going to start in first position again. So you're going to slide the foot along the floor until it has to come off the ground. When you're pointing your toe, it is just the little toe that is on the ground when you're f going forwards. That's called devant in front. And it is the big toe that is on the ground when you are going backwards, that is derriere. It's important when you're doing them to the front that you don't overstretch because that will then bring that little toe up a bit. You can see you've got a fairly ugly foot movement there. It's called sickling. So you've got to make sure it's this muscles going all the way down, straight line, all the way down to the tips of the toe. So what we're going to do from first position is one tendu, two counts, hold it and close. 
one ton do two counts hold it and close and then one and two and three this time brush through first position into derriere and close then i'm going to repeat that so one two three four one two three four one and two and three brush through four okay and we will do that twice on each side. First position, arm to second. And hold and close. One, two, hold, close. One, two, Three, four, and close. One, and two, three, and close. One, and two, three, and close. One, two, three, and one. Two, three, and close. One, two, three, and close. One, two, three. as we did for the plies. Okay, and all of that, same again on the other side. Keep everything uptight, centre core, with knees straight. to move on to Batmon Glisse. Batmon beat again. Glisse is a glide or a slide. It's the same basic movement as the tondu but it's a little bit quicker. So what happens is you haven't got time to keep your toe on the ground. It just comes off the ground. Only just a little. It's not up here. We'll do that in a minute. It's just off the ground. And we're going to do uh, eight Glisse in each position en croix. En croix means in the shape of a cross. 
So we're going to start this in third position. Third position is basically your heel is sort of midway uh, uh, along the line of the other foot. So the heel is tucked into, if you've got ballet shoes on like I have, it's near the front ribbons. If you haven't got ballet shoes, it's probably better to wear some socks because it just gives you a little bit more slippage, some, uh, uh, you know, unless you've got a really lovely floor, in which case you're fine on bare feet. We're going to do eight devant, eight to the front, eight to second. Now when we're doing the ones to second, the first one, first time around, closes in front, and the second one behind, in front, behind, so that the eighth one finishes behind. You then do eight derriere, behind, and it should be right behind, so not out there. But you've got to keep these hips open and it's really difficult because you mustn't raise that hip it's no good doing it like that with a twisted hip it's got to go straight your hips have got to be straight and you just go backwards it's quite a difficult position if you've never done it before but do try not to twist your hips because it's not good for you so eight to behind and eight more to second that will be enough we'll come back down to the bra bar position okay on the ground so it means round movement of the leg on the ground and again it's it's to help with this turnout position effectively you are going to do a tendu to the front the leg round to the second along the ground keep it on the ground to derriere behind and close back in first and do one two three four one two three four and then we'll do three a little bit faster one two three close in that first position and we'll just do a demi plie really important that as you come through that first position your heels are on the ground don't try and come through with the heel just off the ground because you're going out one it means you're not standing straight secondly you've got to get the heel on the ground otherwise you again these things can all cause a little bit of harm to muscles if it's not done like that so we're going to do and doing it this way going forwards to back is called en dehors it means outwards imagine you're opening the door having done that we're then going to reverse it so we're going to go one two three four another slow one and then 
three more quick ones and a demi plie. That is called en dedans, it means inwards, as so though you're closing the door. And we will do it just once each side. Arm to second. do one more step at the bar which will be grand battement and we're going to do um, starting devant I'm just going to move this a tad so I'm going to start in first position again point lift point close point lift point close and then one and two and three, brush through to dairy air and close. Uh, try and make sure you've got room front and back. The important thing is your turnout. Don't worry about height at the moment. If you can get your leg up there, I wish I could see it. But if you can only get it that high off the ground, that's absolutely fine. Keep the leg turned out front. And again, don't twist the tip behind. Okay.
pose. Okay, that's the first half of the class done at the bar. Before we move into the centre and let go of whatever you're holding on to, um, just ought to do a little bit of a stretch out. Now again, if you have a stretch routine you do with Pilates or yoga, you do that. If not, I'm going to show you just how we do a simple touching your toes type stretch. So stand, arms up to second, down to brava, up to first position. Now bend from those hips, go forward and forward and forward. Try and keep your back as straight as possible, your knees straight until you're getting down towards the ground. If you can touch the floor, that's good. If you can put your hands on the floor, but keep your knees straight. If you can do that easily, you can turn it and do it that way. But then, you're going to come up. Your head must come up last. So uncurl. And hair down out to second and again. because otherwise we're going to run out of time and I do want to do a little bit in the centre. So we're going to do some a Batman Tendu in the centre but using the arms. So I'm going to stand facing the front arm fast. Arms in bra bar. Two tendu devant into first position. Two tendu to second. Now take the arm down and up into fourth position for the two derriere. And then this time bring your arm down to second, close in uh, behind, uh, close in front first time close behind second time so that we can now do it all again on the other foot. One, two, three, four, five, six and seven and seven, close in front and close behind so you're back where you started. Okay, just a little bit of pour de bras, movement of the arms with some tendu. Third position and bra bar. One, two, three. Don't lift your shoulder up. Close in front. Close behind. Down to bra bar. First. Bravo and finish. 
groups of movements like that are called adage. Uh, and as class progresses, we'll put more steps and more arm movements to them. But that is just an idea of what a slow series of steps is and how you can use soft arms to give, to give it some beautiful shaping. Um, next thing we're going to do is what's called petit allegro, little fast steps. They're effectively little jumps. And they are little because they're fast. We're going to do three different types. We're going to start in surge position. We're going to do a little jump called a super surge. You come straight up and down. Don't change feet. So we're going to do four of them. One, two, three, four. We're then going to do four changements. Changements do change feet. One, two, three, four. Four more of the super surge. One, two, three, four. And a step called an échappé, a échappé to escape. So out to second, hold it, and back into third position, but with the other foot in front, so we can do it on the other side. Now, the start of every term, we always find we can't do very many groups of these, so at least once on each side, but let's see if we can do it twice on each side. Always try and go just two steps further than you think you can, but don't hurt your muscles and don't get too breathless. Uh, Petty Allegro. I'm changed. And out, back. One, two, three. Try and make your toes point to the ground. Last time. Enough. Okay, if you are out of breath, you want to take a moment. Just go down to relax, deep breaths, oh, and go yourself back up. And then just a little bit more tonight. I um, want to do, do want to show you, we'll just do two more. Um, we'll do some glissard. Glissard, you remember at the bar, they just come off a glissard bit like that, it goes along the ground, along the ground, but like as if you're jumping over a little way at the sea. So these are not as fast as Petit Allegro, they are faster than Adage, they're just called Allegro. And I know with some people are strapped for space, so if you have to do it sideways, that's fine. If you can do it this way, that's fine, but we're going to do. New position of the arm. Arm is going to be in third position. So the hand is just below the waist. The other arm is up in second. I'm going to start with the right foot in front in third position. Glissard. Glissard. Change arms. So we're going to two with the back foot. So as with Devon, he's derriere. Glissard. Glissard. Two more Devon. One, two, one more derriere, and a degage to change feet. Forward, devant, back leg, derriere. Forward, devant, back leg, and degage. Okay, we'll just do that twice on each side. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
One, two, three. Always look the way you're going. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Close feet, last time. I did something wrong on one of those but you have the idea and then finally all classes end with a reverence just thank you to the uh, teacher thank you to the audience for watching and I'll talk you through it we start as ever first position bra bar Demi, just to breathe with the arms, and a rise, and open to second, and close, down again, and up, straight leg tendu. We'll do some pour de bras up to fifth position. First position of the feet. And four. All the way down. Straight legs. And open really slowly. Watch one of your arms as it gets back to second. Now we're going to do some side stretches. Look the way you're stretching and back to second on the other side. Now step to the side with the right foot and just a little chasse step and then to the other way and behind and thank you. Well, there we are, everyone, your first class at ballet. We haven't done many steps this evening. As the term progresses, we'll add bits and pieces. But because I can't see you dance, I'm going to have to take it very gently. So please join me online at quarter past eight. Um, and we can have a chat about anything else that you'd like to talk about ballet-wise. Thank you very much for joining class. Good afternoon.